Hello, and welcome to New Fast Food. Today we're going to be talking about something new from Sonic called the Sonic Slingers, also new signature wraps from Subway, and a new spicy chicken sandwich from Burger King. Let's get started. So Sonic is launching these new, this new line of burgers uh, that they're calling the Sonic Slingers. And what they are, they're actually really interesting uh, when you look at them because they're, they're burgers made out of a, a meat patty uh, that's not all meat. So it's about 70% beef and then about 30% mushrooms and other seasonings mixed in. So it's sort of a blended burger patty. Uh, it's allegedly their juiciest burger ever. Now there's two different styles of this. There's sort of the standard all-American slinger uh, with the tomatoes and the lettuce and the onions and the pickles. Um, and that goes for $1.99. And then there's also this bacon version. Um, and that goes for $2.49. And they're saying that they start at 340 calories. Um, so I'm guessing that's for the non-bacon version. Now I am not like in these slingers and it's probably not for the reason that you're thinking okay uh, so I'm not a huge fan of mushrooms never have been um, but that's not the reason why I'm not ex not excited about uh, these slingers I have come to grips uh, with the fact that mushrooms are a great flavor enhancer for foods right you use them in casseroles soups um, they can actually be um, good to have um, as an ingredient in your food. So that's actually not the reason why I'm not liking these slingers. Um, I'm not liking them because, I mean, the way that they're promoting them, are they a slider or not? Okay, because the word slinger sounds like slider. And when you look at these pictures, they look like sliders. And when you compare them to the pictures of their other burgers, they look smaller. And they're $1.99. That's a pretty high price for a slider, considering Carl's Jr. and Hardee's just launched their sliders for 99 cents for the single patty version, which, which is what this is, a single patty version. Um, and so they, the way they're promoting it, it almost sounds like it's supposed to be a healthier version of their regular burger. They're making a big deal out of them starting at 340 calories. Uh, well, okay, but if they're smaller burgers, then okay, they're 340 calories. I may need two of them to get full. Uh, because they look so small and they don't actually call them sliders so it's really confusing as to what exactly they're supposed to be uh, the, the main taglines for them don't even really mention that their mushrooms blended in with the burger this seems to me like a poor way to communicate what should be a very innovative and interesting new food item uh, for a lot of people so I'm very disappointed that they're going this route, that this, they're slingers, are they sliders, who knows. I think if you're going with a blended patty, it's important to say that up front. You know, use that as part of the marketing. Um, otherwise, why do it? You know, I mean, it, they're 70% beef, so you're not, you're not saving that many calories um, on, the, on the, the burger patty. I'm guessing that most of those calories being shaved off are just from a, being a smaller burger. I think a better name for these would have been something like the gourmet blended burgers, or the artisan blended burgers. Uh, that's something where, you know, even if you don't know exactly what that means, at least it tells you there's something more going on here uh, than them just being smaller size burgers. Um, and if they're, if they really are you know, that much smaller, then call them the mini gourmet blended burgers or the, you know, mini artisan blended burgers. Uh, that, I mean, there's just so many other ways you could go with this that it, to call them the Sonic Slingers and not give any indication of what that means, it's just really disappointing. Um, I, I personally would like to try one. I'd like to see what these blended patties are all about. All right, now moving along to some other new items that I'm also not thrilled about the way that they're being promoted. And these are coming from Subway. So they're called uh, Subway's new signature wraps. And I was really confused because they're calling them new and I thought that Subway already had wraps on their menu. So it turns out um, that they do. The, the new thing about these is not that they're wraps, uh, it's that they, the kind of wraps that they are. So normally they has had a regular tortilla. These new wraps are tomato basil tortillas and spinach tortillas. Okay, um, And they are promoting them in three different varieties. Um, and each variety has double the meat than you would typically get in a regular wrap. So I don't like the way that these are being promoted. Uh, I think that the better way to promote these would simply be to say, we've got these new tortillas for our wraps come and try them because they're promoting these three varieties but really they're the same as any other sandwich on the menu you know they're gonna put they're gonna take your wrap 
They're going to put the meat in it. They're going to say, what kind of cheese do you want? What are your ingredients you want? Right on down the line. So I, as a consumer, it, I would be really confused if I get to Subway, I want to try a specific thing, um, and then it just turns out that I'm being asked the same questions that I normally would. Um, at, for any other sandwich on the menu. And the signature wraps have double the meat, which of course you're paying for. So they're really kind of being sneaky with the advertising here uh, because of course anybody could order a any sandwich on the menu um, and order it with these new tortillas and not have to pay that, that larger price for double the meat. Um, so I'm not happy that they've chosen this route to do that. Um, I think that the more honest the, and actually the better way to promote these new tortillas, because that's the only thing new here. The only, the only thing new on these signature wraps is that tortilla, which you can get with any of the sandwiches on the menu. In fact, if you go to Subway's website, uh, so they're only promoting the three versions of it uh, in their posters and promotional items, uh, but if you go to their website, they've got a signature wrap for every single sandwich on the menu. There's 18 different versions of them on, on their website, including a Veggie Delight signature wrap, which they say has double the veggies. So I like the idea that they have these new tortillas available at Subway, uh, but I don't like the fact of the, how they're promoting them. All right, so next up, Burger King has a new version of their crispy chicken sandwich. Uh, remember, they revamped their uh, crispy chicken sandwich just a couple months ago, um, and now they're introducing a spicy version of it. So. Uh, really, overall, this is sort of a ho-hum announcement uh, because it's sort of just an expected step, right? The previous Burger King's chicken sandwich also had a spicy version. A lot of other restaurants, their chicken sandwiches have spicy versions. Um, so this was, you know, pretty much to be expected. Um, and here it comes. It's, I mean, they're basically, they're basically stretching out the announcement, right? They, they could have, when they launched the crispy chicken sandwich, they could have introduced the spicy version along with it at the same time. They're stretching it out so that they can, they can have two different marketing pushes. Hey, we've got a new crispy chicken sandwich. Come and try it. A few months later, oh, we, now we have the new spicy version. Come and try it. As opposed to, we have these two new ver versions come and try them, you go and they will probably only try one, you probably wouldn't try both. So that's sort of what they're going for here, they're stretching out the introduction of their new crispy chicken sandwich line. And they have added it to their two for six dollar promotion. So it's a mix and match deal and it now includes their crispy chicken sandwich, uh, the new spicy chicken sandwich, and the Whopper, which I think is still a pretty good deal. I mean, the, the Whopper and these chicken sandwiches uh, for three dollars a piece, if you've got someone to go with or you're hungry for two sandwiches, I think it's a pretty good deal to get two of those for six dollars. So I would still recommend that. Um, and overall, I like I, I like spicy chicken sandwiches. I'm, I'm actually um, a very big fan of spicy chicken sandwiches. Uh, so don't get me wrong here. I, I'm excited for the new menu item, um, but I, I, I would agree that it's it's just sort of a ho hum, expected announcement, business as usual from Burger King and their chicken sandwich line. I'm gonna leave you with this. This looks amazing. This is from Chick Fil A. This is their new Frosted Sunrise, they're calling it. And what it is, is their soft serve ice cream, or ice dream as they call it, blended with orange juice. So it's like a, sort of like an orange juice milkshake-y thing. There's no milk in it, so it's, it's, it's what it is. It's the Frosted Sunrise. Um, this picture looks very satisfying. I, I would lo I'd love to be holding one of those right now. It's very calming to look at. I, it's, very, it's a very pleasant way to end this video on, on, on this image of the Chick-fil-A Frosted Sunrise. It just looks so great. All right, so that's all for today's edition of New Fast Food. Now it's up to you to continue the conversation down below. Let me know what you think about anything we talked about today. Do you agree with me on these uh, Sonic sliders that the name is just horrible? Go back to the drawing board on that. Uh, what about the signature wraps from Subway? Do you agree that it's kind of misleading to introduce them as signature wraps when really the only thing new is this tortilla that you can probably get with any sandwich on the menu? And how about this spicy chicken sandwich uh, from Burger King? It's already out. Have you tried it yet? Uh, let me know what you think down below. If you like my videos, do me a solid. Hit the subscribe button and pick up a subscription. It's free. I won't charge anything. Check out some of my previous episodes down below here. This icon is a subscription button. You can just hit that to subscribe. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.